check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. Hello everyone and welcome to a live stream with me, tiny, tiny Peter Austin. That's me, tiny Peter Austin. Hello, welcome to the live stream. Uh, I am here today to play Peter Jackson's King Kong colon, the official video game of the movie, or is it official game of the movie? Let's get it right. Hang on, it says it on the Twitch category. Oh, category. Yeah. oh there's me opening Twitch. Sorry, that's Hi, my tiny Peter. player in the background. How are you? How was your weekend? Happy Monday, my dude. Awesome job on the podcast this weekend. Excited for the stream. Hope you are having a lovely day. The official game of the movie is the name of it. Uh, so, hey, can't wait for that. Um, it's good, I used to really enjoy this game and I've not played it in some years, but uh, it's gonna be great. So, um, Thank you to GY Goliath who subscribed, I think while we were still uh, either either immediately or just before uh, I came over to Facecam and when we were still doing boy or whatever, but GY Goliath subscribed and said, Big Ape, Tiny Peter and another subversary. Hope everyone has an awesome week. Well, thank you so much GY Goliath for that. Um, it's great to have had you for 32 months. You're well on your way to three years now. That's a crazy amount of time. Um, we've also got 100 bits from Stephen Skodares. He says, hi, Tiny Peter, how are you? How was your weekend? Happy Monday. Awesome job on the podcast this weekend. Excited for the stream. Hope you're having a lovely day. Well, thank you, glad you enjoyed the podcast, Stephen. I'm very well, I had a good weekend, and I'm looking forward to the stream. I'm gonna have a good time. So thank you for the bits. Um, and uh, thank you to Varbiova, who subscribed for 42 months. Wow, that's a really long time. That's almost four years. It's like three and a half. Uh, Tiny Peter, big monkey. Uh, that's right, yes. Uh, we're gonna see the big monkey shortly. Uh, we've got a first time chat from the Captain Gingerbeard, who says, I had this game on PSP. Oh, nice. This, I learned today this was available on uh, PC. and. Uh, therefore looked even nicer. It actually looks pretty good for the time. It's very, this is a very cinematic kind of game, you know? I know it's based on a film, but I mean, even the, the actual presentation of this film into game uh, is is pretty cinematic looking. Uh, you'll see, you'll kind yeah. of get the idea as we go, but Tiny um, Peter is it's a really cool good. Dude. That is fact. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, you can get it on P uh, PC, apparently. It's not available, I was, I then looked on Steam, to see if it was on Steam, because if it had been, I would have probably played it. I would have paid money, real actual money, to play it on Steam uh, on PC for you all. Maybe it is easily available on like, good old games or something, and if I'd looked even slightly harder, I would have found the PC version. But in any case, uh, the PS2 version is fine, especially emulated. Well, I say that, I've not properly tested. I've got as far as the menu and it was all looking fine. And the menu actually has a bit of kind of in-engine stuff looping in the background. So I've got to assume that because the background looked okay, that the actual in-game stuff will look okay. But we are emulating. We might be having lights showing through walls or strange artifacts when stuff's on fire or whatever. So we'll just have to see how it goes. To be honest, I, I've just not had time to test it today properly. So we'll, we'll see. Um, but yes, thank you for chatting, Captain Gingerbeard. Welcome to the chat. Uh, we've got El Pesidente, who subscribed by Prime for 19 months. Look at that hype train, by the way. We've nearly filled up level two already. Um, we've still got three minutes left to do it. Uh, El Pesidente says, hey, Peter, I hope you're having a good Monday. I certainly am. Thank you very much indeed. Um, hope you are too. Steven Skoda's then gifted some subs. Uh, two subs have gone to uh, Cosmic Roach and Bartley, ba Bartle, Bartleby01, there you go, taking Stephen up to 559, that's just shy of 560. Uh, gift subs to the channel, well done Stephen, you're almost at 600. 
I don't know why I've taken to this now. Whenever someone does anything, people are, you know, subscribe for a certain amount of time or something. I just say what the nearest like round number is that they're almost at in case they couldn't work that out for themselves. For example, GY Goliath has gifted two more subs as well, and they've gone to Ash Jaming. Uh, well, that could be an L, um, but I think it's Ash. Oh, yeah, it could be Ash Jam. Jam oh, I no, Ash Jam Ing, I think. Uh, and Mr. Custard Bags um, taking GY Goliath up to 582 gift subs, which means GY Goliath. You're almost at 600, in case you hadn't, hadn't noticed that. Uh, level 2 hype train is complete, everyone. We're about to beat our last record. Keep up the support. So in four and a half minutes, uh, we've got four and a half minutes to beat our last record. We're 10% of the way there already. It's very exciting. Pup George subscribed um, for uh, 12 months now. Congratulations on a year. Subscribe. Yeah. Thank you for being with us all that time. DJ Dick Salute. Dick Salute. Um, thank you, Pup George. 12 months, that's almost a year, if you do the maths. Looking forward to some frankly enormous monkey ball. That's basically what this game is, yes. Uh, Steven Skerdes with 200 bits. Tiny Peter is a cool dude, that is a fact. Well, thank you for the bits, that's much appreciated. Whether it's a fact, it's not for me to say. It's for everyone else to say. Um, you can all decide between yourselves whether I am, in fact, a cool dude. Um, Hello to the mods, by the way. Uh, I see Lord Brotovich is there. Uh, is there... Hang on. Um, uh, let's see if we've got... How many mods have we got in? Mr. Black. I see Mr. Black. I'm scrolling through the chat here. Um, and uh, so we've got at least, at least two mods. They're here. Um, thank you to... Where did I get up to? So that's Stephen Skodis with the bits. Thank you very much indeed, Stephen. Um, and uh, then Stephen gifted a sub to Boring Loner. Uh, thank you, uh, Stephen, for gifting to Boring Loner. That takes you up to that 560, which now means you're almost at 600, basically. Uh, it's a bit of a way to go yet, but hey, 560, certainly nearly 570. So there you go. Um, Thank you very much, Stephen, for making it that nice round 560. Uh, Elo, so with 100 bits, uh, thank you very much for those and the dick salute emote. And uh, that is me, I think, all caught up on stuff. Um, good. Alerts. We've done them. They're done. So, shall we play monkey game? You guys want to play monkey game? Should we should we find out together how well, if at all, the monkey game works? Um, let me hit a big run fast on monkey game. And uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, oh, the old Ubisoft logo. Happy days. Dun, dun. That sometimes gets copyright struck, actually, just, just that bit of music. So we'll see how well this goes on the VODs channel. This actually, I think, also has bits of footage from the film. It's got movie clips in it. So I don't know how we're going to, how well this is going to go down on the VODs channel. But anyway, that's why you guys are here now, live, uh, to get the full Twitch experience. Yeah, it growls when you press start. So, see that's an engine in the background. So if that's working, then we're probably fine, right? Create new. Uh, tiny. Oh, I was enjoying that music. It just immediately cuts it off. There we go. Are we going to see Bowser, a.k.a. Mr. Black? We are going to see Bowser, a.k.a. Mr. Black, a.k.a. Jack. And it, I believe it's the actual voice cast, or at least some of it is. I think Jack Black voices himself in this game. I don't know if... Um, Adrian Brody is. Right, this is actual game footage. I mean, film footage. 
not gonna let him kill my film. We have three hours to find a new leading lady, or we're finished. There are thousands of actresses out of work in this city. Somewhere out there is a woman born to play this role. This was the worst part about the movie. Journey into the heart of the is, there's about 40 minutes before they even get to the fireworks factory. Do you know what I mean? It should pretty much start on Skull Island, this this film, and it doesn't. When are they gonna get to Skull Island? Into possession of a map. An uncharted island. A place. Well, it's not uncharted, is it? It's on that map. What are you talking about? That's not uncharted by definition. I, I quite enjoyed this film. Some of it was a bit silly, but it was kind of atmospheric and weird and spooky. Where monkey? Oh man, that's kind of loud, isn't it? The bit with the bugs was worth seeing, says Boring Leonard. The bit with the bugs is the flipping creepiest bit of the entire film. Uh, yeah, validate. I like it that way. Don't invert it. So that's Angle, uh, that's uh, Jack Black there. There, it's been cropped off. I'll read it in a second. Forgotten Media. Thank you very much for subscribing. Fifteen months. This is too dangerous. We're turning back over my dead body. Can I um? Yes. Maybe I can turn the sound effects down just a little bit. It's very rainy. We lose a boat. Got media says four magazines left and uh, until backup. Yeah, I'll get to that. Oh my god! Oh, we've been dropped into the water. Thirteen months, baby. My tat arrived last week. Hope, uh, honestly, hope you aren't planning on doing it over one day this year, considering you exhausted yourself last time. Spread it over two days just in case. Love the game as a kid. Uh, movie is much better if you start once they get to the island. Jack. Yeah, that's right. I've forgotten. Media. Hey, Jack. You gave us a fright. Man, are you hurt? What happened? We crashed against the rocks. One of the sailor's brakes was killed instantly. Oh. We put his body over there. So, other than teaching you... Oh, God. Oh. We can't just leave him there. I know. Hayes is trying to contact Engelhorn. The sea's too rough. We just gotta hope he saw us. If he did, he'll come looking for us with the seaplane. Ho, 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 ho! I can't believe it! This is it. The Island of the Skull. What a place to shoot a picture. This movie's gonna make so much money. So, um, let's just concentrate on getting out of here alive. We've already got one person dead now. Will you, will you guys let me speak just for a minute? 
Yeah, this game has, uh, other than teaching you the controls right at the beginning, it has very little HUD. And, you know, ordinarily they wouldn't have the subtitles on either. So, um, it always looks like you could almost take a still of any given ma moment and it would, you know, look kind of, look kind of nice. Um, and uh, as Forgot Media says there, four magazines on backup. Uh, you don't even have a, um, a visible ammo counter at all times in this game once you get guns. You have to actually listen to your character, Jack, Adrian Brody. Keep a mental note of how many bullets he's got left. You can check, but... Nice. This looks quite nice emulated, actually. Oh, the skulls. Uh-oh, combat music. With me, Jack. Oh. Crab monsters. See, he says, okay, I've got enough magazines. But I can check somehow. I gotta reload. Okay, bad for a city boy. He doesn't keep saying that. It's because I'm pressing buttons. Had enough excitement for one day. You get a lot of projectile-based weapons in this game as well. A lot of spears. And... Why have none of them commented yet on the fact that there's there are loads of structures here? Bones. I've got a bone, and I can jab with the bone, or I can throw the bone. And bones are infinite. You get them from bone piles like this. There are also spears, which are limited. Um, anyway. Oh yeah. Hang on, Jack. I'm coming. Trying to push it. Hang on, Jack. I'm coming. Ready oh boy. It, Nexus Polaris with some gifts up there. I'm pushing it, Hayes. Ready, Jack. Okay, I'm pulling it. And come with me. I want to shoot some test shots. Now? You want to start filming now? Sure, why not? That's why we're here. A man's just died. Okay. Are you ready? And action. Scream and scream for your life. Uh What was that? I have no idea, but let's stay focused. Let's use that fear and let's go for another take. Let's use that fear. Oh my god. Look out. Oh, the stuff coming out the sea. Jesus, hey, is what are you doing? He just fired about 10 shots into the rock in front of me. I guess there's no. Did I choose a difficulty setting at the beginning, or is it all just this, all just one? Nice shot. Oh, more rumbling. Uh oh, it's the queen. Pick up a bone. A shell. Can't get around him. Gotta reload. It's okay. I got him. Oh, I gotta wait till he roars and then, then get him. Oh, nice. Stabbed him under the shell. That's all you need to do. Fantastic. It's open. Hurry. Let's get out of here. Right, 
I'm going to have to put... There's a lot of chatter in this game, uh, which means I can't address our chat, which is a bad thing to not be able to do that. Uh, so, hey, thank you very much to Nexus Polaris for gifting five subs, your first five gifts to the channel. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, they've gone to BMouthBoy188, Herney777, Obscurity, Jellyfilled Pandas, and Timmy F. Smith. Thank you so much, uh, Nexus Polaris, for gifting some subs to the channel. That's much appreciated. Um, lovely. I think possibly for this sort of tutorial area, I might have um, infinite... The door's just drifted open. It always does that. Uh, I might have infinite uh, ammo for my pistol, but possibly not. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's move. If I can, I make this bigger. On oh, I can, but then it does that. So let's leave it. Oops. Do you hear that? It sounds like a plane. It's Captain Engelhorn. Yay. Engelhorn. Down here. doing he's leaving why isn't he landing he needs to find the stretch of water that's protected from the jesus storm. everyone hide everyone hide over there he's dropped something <laughs> get triggered triggered a bit of dialogue that it shouldn't have said there but so yeah engelhorn is your best friend because he drops things like this throughout the game and then you can Thank God Engelhorn spotted us. Smash him off. Keep your eyes peeled. If I know him, he'll send us more. We've and get, gotta get what's in the case. Get the guns. How do I check? Two magazines on backup. Two magazines on backup. Hello. Everyone. God. Quiet. Shh. Look. I might, do I bash this down? Yeah. So this was, um, I'm not sure exactly what his role was, whether he's, he was like the director or producer or something, but uh, your boy, my boy, uh, Michel Onself worked on this game. They don't seem very old. They work just fine. What do you mean? I'm not sure. It's strange. What about the second boat? Jimmy and Preston and all the others. I just hope they were able to get ashore. Nothing's gone right since we set foot on this island. Come on, boys. This is the chance of a lifetime. We're on the legendary Skull Island. Plus, we can go you get now. to be in a Carl Denham picture. What else do you want? It's a miracle that ever came out if he worked on it, says Lucy B. Yeah, this was back in the day where his projects were actually... Oh, God. My God. Row? Never mind row. Oh. Um, yeah, this was back in the day when, you know, he was working on, he was doing, like, Rayman and Beyond Good and Evil 1. And, you know, his stuff actually came out. Oh, the heady days. First thing we have to do is find some place for the plane to land. What I like is you can bash those boxes off parachutes in any direction. Uh, which is kind of weird. Like, it kind of makes me think, like, if I hit it the wrong way, if I bashed it that direction, could it fall off the cliff? I don't know. I'm always slightly kind of curious as to whether I can break the game by hitting it from a certain angle. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Jack, look at these. Looks like some kind of a tomb. This is phenomenal. A lost civilization. Not completely lost. 
Look over there. Jack, fire. Who lit that fire? You think this island might be inhabited? Excellent. We need some extras in this movie. So we can set fire to stuff, which is fun and also not fun at all. Uh, it's gonna fall! Because, you know, it gets in your way at times. Good thing you're here, Jack. Yeah, I'm clever. Stay alert. We're on their hunting ground now. I hear bats. Damn it. You've hit a dead end. Looks like some kind of graveyard. This is the perfect place to shoot. <laughs> this is exactly why you shoot on location. Authenticity, Jack. Real life. <sighs> Uh, more monsters somewhere. Oh my god! I think giant millipedes. There they are. Uh, any more? Oh! Oh, Jesus. Okay. I might make the game a bit bigger for me, which I know then makes it too big for you, and I can fix that. Because I'm struggling to see some of these monsties. But right, and then my face comes slightly overlapping it, which, you know, <laughs> I, I could find annoying, or I could try and just deal with it. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Pop my microphone out there. As I stood up. This is the kind of thing that really irritates me. If stuff isn't like all nice and aligned to the point that I, I, I can't I can't now carry on until I fix this. But the problem is you guys can see it without the red border that like appears around it when I'm trying to move it. And so it's, I have to then take the, okay, that'll do, that's fine. That, that's okay. Yeah, when I'm moving it, it puts a great big red halo around the outside. So then I can't see where the edge is exactly. I'm trying to like move it and align it. Right, I can now see the game properly or better. Had your fill of real life yet? Oh, have you guys Come got- on, let's get a couple of shots. Have you guys got weird streets? In front of this statue. Excuse me, Mr. Denham. Shouldn't we concentrate on finding Preston and finding the others? Finding Preston. Oh, great idea. He must have oh, at man. least three cans of film with him. That's not good. Let me put it back to how it was. See if that helps. If I have to play it small, then that's fine. I don't want it being all streaky like that. Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, we'll leave it like that and I'll just have to play it with a smaller screen. Uh, oh. I'll just use my gun. Uh, cool.
they do a little bit of that sort of ambient noise when they, you know, they're reacting to stuff and it, sometimes it doesn't feel quite right. We can go now. But that's fine. Oh my god! Is it broken? No, I think you'll be okay. Not me, I was talking about the camera. I don't know about I got the you camera. Covered. Oh yeah, so if you keep using people. spears, they eventually break when you pick You're them up again. Watched. Um, I've got one bullet left, but I can Hayes. shout to Hayes, take his gun, and give him the pistol. And I don't know if he might have infinite ammo, which, you know, is a good way to use these things. Oh my god. Wow, okay. I killed the bat monster very easily. That's fine. Um, Go ahead, Jack. I'll cover you. Why do I get the feeling this is going to break as soon as I walk across it? The fact that none of these three are <laughs> going. Look out, Jack. There we go, of course. You all right? Wait for me, Jack. I'm coming with you. How, how can you? Crazy? Oh my god, I'm Anne. I'm coming, Jack. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> gonna get attacked is what you're doing oh god and if you're gonna do that can you do it really quickly please jeez when get giant gorilla in king kong well that's a good question i think about half an hour in so you know soon What, am I, am I on my own? What, I thought you were coming to join me. Or are you, do we meet up along here? Freak, okay, Hurry. hello. We'll meet up at the top. Call the plane and get out of this hellhole. Uh, gotta relax. You can as well get them, uh, like, uh, some enemies will attack each other. Did you see that? All the species on this island eat each other. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, Anne. That's just what I was trying to describe there to my uh, to my dear viewers. So I think I'm burning a, a millipede in there. There was one, one there. Oh yeah, it chugs a bit when there's a lot of fire on. But if that's the worst performance issue we're having, then that's all right, you know. Where's the where's the spear gone? Oh, it's gone forever. I'll take care of the door. Okay, which means I probably have to cover you. I can't remember if your allies can die or if they just get downed and then eventually get up again. Look out behind you, Jack. Oh boy. Yeah. We could try to use some food to coax them somewhere else. Yeah, so this is the other thing you can do. I like this. So if you get too close to the spiders. Oh. oh I think they don't like the fire. Oh, yeah, see, and then the fire goes out because you're walking through the waterfall. So, yeah, it, uh, evidently they also don't like fire. But no, the idea is that. You know, you can't, you can't go through the spiders. They get you if you try and go through them, right? But you get these delicious looking grubs. You spike them like that. And you say, hey, spiders. It's working. Eat the grubs. Hurry. And you run okay. through. Some genuinely, like, quite fun mechanics. And the fact that it's all delivered without any HUD is really nice. It really is. It's immersive, you know? Keep in mind, this is a movie tie-in video game. And it's like an interesting action-adventure FPS. I mean, there's a lot of combat. You know, there's a lot of this, but... 
it's quite nicely done and the Remote spear the, we'll be able to get our from up there. the spear mechanic makes it a lot of fun as well you know you do a lot yeah you've got the gunplay but at pretty much all on all occasions you can be chucking Jack, look up there another fire we can't be alone on this island we must be nearing some kind of settlement it must be this way I can't get through I'm that. going oh, she's look going out, man. Uh -oh. reload. Uh. But they're pretty horrible, those things, aren't they? Oh, I've got Iron Sight as well, which is nice. Oh, the game, the game's a bit chuggy at times. But I think Jack, it, it's going to be okay. There's a wall over there. It's huge. Ready, Jack? Let's go. The others can't be too far. Just look away from the fire. Swim! Follow me, I'll cover you from the bank. Look out! Oh. What am I swimming with? What I can do actually is try and switch it back to. So I I originally had it on uh, software mode, which typically makes things run better. And I switched it back to hard. I switched over to hardware mode because um, I was getting some stripes on some like weird looking striped things on. Uh, oh no, I'm on software. Well, I'll try OpenGL. Mm, let's try DirectX. See if that's any better. Resume. Oh yeah, see it's a bit stripy there. I don't even know if it runs any better necessarily. Maybe it does. Grab my hand. I'll help you. Uh let me quickly let me try. Get me out. Thanks. Nice work. You got good aim. I can usually hit my target. I noticed. What does that mean? That doesn't sound like Adrian Brody to me, by the way. I think it's... Uh, it could be, but I don't think it is. Crows. So, we've got some dragonflies here. Pretty sure that there's a bait animals, which they are, yes. Um. Oh my god. Oh! And like your actual enemy monsters will go for them as well, not just not just clumps of spiders, like, you know, your your strange scorpions and your bats and stuff, I think will sometimes go for the bait food. Um is that a, is a parachute there? Let's look into this fire, see how it performs. Up there. That seems look good. Out. It worked. Let's get out of here. It did work. Switching to OpenGL oh hardware mode worked. Burn them. Burn them. I hear I hear bat monsters somewhere. We're fine. You can walk through the fire once it's starting to die down. You can't walk through it when it's full full flame oh yeah so this is fun there you go because i had no source of flame i couldn't reach it but you knock it down into the bushes this island is really fantastic why then hayes over here Ed, have you seen jimmy and the others no nothing they must have landed further down okay keep searching they can't be far hey jack I have the sniper rifle. If 
you want it, just let me know. Hayes! Look behind you! How do I... There, like that. Oh. Off the hip. Mum, get the camera. Engelhorn drops. Look at That's one down. It's a high precision weapon. It worked. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's move. Sounds like Mr. Brody to me, says Ricky Ricardo. Uh, if it's not Adrian Brody, it's a pretty good sound alike since we've got media. Uh, anyone want to, anyone fancy Googling it? Is it, is it old aid in the actual uh, video game version? Because it is Jack Black, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's what was in the water with us. Horrid. I don't know why I skipped that. that was rude. I never skip stuff like that in streams. Uh, never mind. So, uh, fish, bash, fish. The seaplane. Why isn't he landing? It's clearly not flat enough, my darling. It's a, uh, it's not the most involved love story in, um, Certainly not in this version of the film. They, they basically just both fall in love immediately and I don't think there's any, any real conflict. I think that, if memory serves, I think they're both just, yeah, by the time they're on the island, I think they're already basically together. Well, as together as you can be, having spent a couple of weeks on a ship. It's been a while since I've seen it. I just remember the bugs. That's all I remember. I just saw something. Oh yeah, look. That, I think, is a dangling bat monster. It is. Barely visible. Oh no, the bugs are gonna eat it. Gross. Okay, so, uh, give me a spear. I was just asking for a, her spear, but you know, sometimes they yell stuff at each other. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, get off me. Yeah, and then it plays this music when you're nearly dead. I'll be okay. According to the web, King Kong also had no voice acting. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, I like how she could have handed it over, but she just threw it for both hands full force. Yeah, they do that. Uh, Anne had a crush on Jack before she even meets him. Oh yeah, that's right. She's a big fan of him as a writer. And then I think he meets her and he, you know, he, he likes her back. So they just, that's it. Uh, I think it, oh, it is Adrian Brody. I think the movie cast reprised their roles. The game received the Spike Video Game Award for best cast. Nice. Um, it should certainly get rewards for, well, it typically does get uh, top billing in um, list, listicles and stuff and, you know, YouTube lists like we do for best video game movies of all time. Or movie video games, I should say. I think their tail fans are the weak spot on on these things. I don't think it's their face, if they have a face. We've got to get out of this nightmare. We have. Oh, I hear another one. Can we just keep moving, or is Anne in combat? No, we're okay. Oh my God! Over there. Oh. This bit really scared me when I first played it. Oh, 
or you know, gave me the gave me the creeps. Did you hear that, Jack? Carl? Hayes! Are you there? They're all whispering about us. They can We're see getting us. closer to the wall. They're watching us. It must be at least 70 feet high. Oh, they're all fighting each other. Last magazine on backup. Dry. Hang on. Oh no, that's that's bullet. There we go. Bit late for that, but never mind. Ah. Oh, I thought I died then. I was it sort of pushed me backwards. I thought I was falling down on the floor. Oh! Steady now. Oh my god. You have to sort of learn what all the uh, audio cues are. Oh my god means there's a monster somewhere. Um, but it might have been one that was still just dying. Anne, are you with me? Oh, it's, she's, that's what she's saying, oh my god, at. This single beast. Um, I should say, actually, I'm on, uh, I'm on Hive now social media platform. Uh, it's app only at the moment, but it seems the most straightforward, just simple, almost like for like Twitter replacement. Uh, and I think they're they're moving to a, add a, desk, a desktop version soon. I don't know if it's gonna be a desktop app or if it's gonna be in browser or both. Try and open it from the top. But uh, careful, I'm still gonna post on Twitter just, just as much as normal. I'm just gonna cross post everything on both for the time being and then work out what's you know, where I'm settling. Might just stay on both forever, or I might eventually just Oh, stick with one. And that one might be Twitter, you know, I might I might eventually just ditch hive if it doesn't take off and no one's using it. But uh Yeah, if anyone wants to follow me on Hive, uh you can do at that Peter Austin. Same same user user account, username. Um and uh, a couple of people from the network are already on there as well. Fraser's over there already. Uh, we've not done anything official in terms of triple jump isn't on there, and I'm pretty sure Cultaholic's not on there. Um, and we, we may do eventually, or we may never do that. I've just taken the personal choice to make a hive today. Oh, Ashton as well is on there. Um, so uh, you can go over there, and it's basically just kind of like Twitter, you know? So Anne is yes. now gonna. There's a winch up here. I can open the door for you. Open the door for us. Anne, you hanging in there? Anne, open the door. Uh. Oh my God. Uh oh. Uh. Ah. Ah. Love that moment. See, this is like a pro. This is like cinematic as hell. I remember the first time that happened. I was like, "Holy crap! I'm in trouble now." It's a great reveal. It's really good. Well directed. This thing. Good old Mickey Ansel. Michel Ansel. Who now owns a wildlife sanctuary and is not no longer in the gaming business. Hands are tied. 
can like move a little bit, but like barely. Oh God. And what's going to happen, guys? It's just like that film, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. You know, just like that movie, The Wicker Man. really cleverly done here as well like the smoke gets thicker intentionally the way that they've done the, the art direction here like the, the 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 visual direction just sort of masks Kong coming out you do still get to see him though they do a proper but you know it's just really nicely presented Monkey! There's your monkey, everyone. You asked for him. Ben! It's like Godzilla, but monk. Monkey. Monkey. It is. Jack. What? Jack. Carl, thank God. You got away from him. I know, I saw it. Carl, it took Anne. What? Yeah, I know. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's gigantic. Oh, thank you. This way. There he is, Jack. Jack Black. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, can I have one of these? Oh, nice. Can you actually see them or do they just sort of ah, they're coming off the off the wall up there. Oh no, that's that's fire. I've sort of lost my way now. I turned around when I shouldn't have done and now, <laughs> now I don't know where I'm going. Okay, yeah, up here. Oh. Hey, look. I'm Anne. Oh. oh god, I got a bit stuck there. I think the game is okay. It doesn't like me pretending to be Anne. This is amazing. That's a bewip right there from Bob Fox no twenty two. We got separated. I just hope he's still alive. Thank you for subscribing for seven months there, Bob Fox. Much appreciated. Instant karma. <laughs> Snakes as flowers. Yeah, I suppose it was. Um, Andy Serkis performed the voice and CGI of King Kong in the movie, which is why it still looks great today. He says, Forgotten Media. He didn't perform his voice, did he? he presumably he didn't perform the CGI as well, but honestly, I, I wouldn't... If he said no, he really did do the Kong CGI, I would believe you. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch CGI'd a dragon and, and literally did, like, mocap for it. He didn't just stand there in a studio recording voice lines. He was sort of crawling around on the floor going, Rah! So, you know, I don't know. Andy Serkis could have pretended to be the monkey. Absolutely incredible. But definitely not the voice. He's got some vocal talents, that man, but... Oh, sorry, I stepped into the Over shop. There. Circus is credited as Lumpy. Do you know what? I tell you what, just then, when that guy was struggling on the boat and yelling, going, We can't get ashore! The current's too strong! I was thinking, that sounds just like Andy Circus, who is in recent memory for Star Wars fans. Um, so, yeah, that will have been Circus. Uh, not just in the film, Lumpy. I remember him now in the film, actually, yeah. I remember, when, remember him with his gun. Uh, but also, that probably is him in the game. The guard's too strong. Uh, did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> and his arm 
arms. Did you see the size of his arms? Over there. Something moved. Uh, guys. When do you get the dinosaur in King Kong? Oh, well, never mind. We may never get the dinosaur in King Kong because I'm a pro and preempted the dinosaur. I didn't know it was coming, but uh, I did. I like to just light things on fire. Uh, there's a dinosaur now. Just like in that movie, King Kong, where there are dinosaurs. You know, Jurassic, Jurassic Kong. Ugh. Another one, I'm trying to pick up a, I'm looking for a, a spear or something. Bones. Where, where is it? Oh, I hear a dinosaur actually. Where's the dinosaur? There it is. Oh. Can actually, oh, you can, you can go in these holes, I think. There are some holes like this where the dinosaur actually tries to get you, and it's got a special animation for trying to, oh, yeah, like in here, I think. Oh, my God, it's got him. What happens if I let him... Oh my Christ! Is it going to eat him? Okay, I think he goes unconscious. He's shouting for Anne. I want to see if it's going to do the animation to where it tries to get me. Oh man. Jack Black is just tanking this dinosaur. Come on, show us your, your grasping through hole animation. Oh, never mind. We'll see it later. How's it running away? Coward. Oh! Oh no! The fire! Give me that spear. Oh! Got him. Okay. Okay, we're good. So can we like... There should be a... Unbelievable. It's a goddamn dinosaur. Some kind of predator from the looks of it. Oh! Just punching these dinosaurs. Okay. Now we need a. Yeah. I know where is it. I was just about to say we need a, a lever. I was not going to say that. I was going to say lever, like a like a normal person, you know. Uh. Annoyingly, you can't just stick a bone in here. Um, has to be a... The reason I'm doing occasional jabs is because the jab button is the pick up thing like button. Oh, there it is. Oh, I forgot that they, they're actually in posts like that. I was looking around on the floor. Okay, that's good. See, that's good game design. You know that you're not going to have to, like, wander around with your face facing down on the floor. These things were supposed to be extinct. Well, they are now. Hey! Jack Driscoll with the with the lines. Jack, I gotta take a break. Fine. I could do the rest myself. No, I gotta change the film roll. 
No, I'm gonna change the film roll. Oh, oh, denim. You're so funny. You and your film. So we're making our way around the island. Jack, come quick! I heard Anne scream. Can I sprint? No. Are we going to see the monkey now? It's coming from over there. Oh. Look at the size of him. He's amazing. <sighs> there he is. Majestic. You got a spear there, Jack Black. Catch. Thank you. I'm the hero of this game. You give me the sticks. Over there. Can I throw it? Can I throw that at Kong? No, he's gone. He jumped off a ledge here, has he? Oh. Look at this carnage. Oh, he's killed all the dinosaurs and stuff. Look at this carnage. Absolutely incredible. Just filming that bat eating a dinosaur. That's fine. Just going to interrupt the shot there. Oh my Christ. I don't think I can actually... I, I think I'm only delaying the inevitable here, which is that it grabs him. And we now have to chase it all the way up to the nest. I remember this. Hang on, Carl. I'm so there's coming. there's no point trying to throw spears at it to kill it there because it, you can't you can't do it. Oh. I'm dying. Oh. Hang on, Carl. Is the one behind me? Oh. Oh, there's a lot of them, and I'm in the thick grass. Oh no. I'm trying to come and save you, but it's difficult. Okay. There we go. It's going to come down to eat the dinosaur. up there. Oh, I've got to walk along here now, have I? Oh, steady. Oh. Jeez. Constantly on low health. Just always being attacked. For the love of God, Jack, hurry up. Oh, there's a gun there. I just need to get to it. Hang in there, Carl. I'll come and get you. Two magazines on backup. Okay. Can I can I jump? No, I can't jump up there. Where am I going? Along the thin twigs.
Right, he's loose. He's free. So I think she will make some attack runs on me and then I have to shoot her. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he said I got to reload. I'm a fool. Ooh. Oh, it comes at you quick. Oh, click, click, click. That's that's empty. Two magazines on backup. Oh, just, just constantly on low health. Where is it? Yeah, you're telling me. Okay, I got it. I mean, to be fair, if you were a film director, whole new bunch of adjectives when I bring this movie back. In the in the nineteen what? When's this set? The twenties? The thirties? Now let's go find Kong. And then you had all this going on. You would you'd be very pleased. You know there were no special effects back. Well, there were special effects. Special effects in a sense have existed as long as film has. But you know um, there were there was no CGI. And you know special monster costumes were uh, crude. Um, so if you had all this to actually shoot for your movie and a giant gorilla. I don't know if there's some health, health bar in the background that carries forward or something. But it seems like every time anything hits me once, I, uh, I go into... Call of Duty blood screen mode. Um, never mind. Oh, he's going that way. But what about this bridge? Oh, that takes me back to, yeah, when I was following him. Um, we're in a world where everyone films everything all the time. He's really just ahead of his time, says Mr. Black. He is. Yeah, he's like, hey, hold on, hold on a minute, Jack. We can move, and, move on and find out in a sec. I just need to get some hashtag content for the gram. Right? Yeah. Happy 420 BBBB Blazing My Dudes Lord 16 Dab. Since we are monkeying around today, here are some cool monkey jokes. Yay. What do you call an easily scared monkey? A chimpanzee. Ha ha ha. Pansy. What kind of monkey can fly? A hot air baboon. Hi E. <laughs> Where do monkeys go to get their fast food? Burger Kong. Ho ho ho. Burger Kong. What's a monkey's favorite drink? Chimpanzee. Right <laughs> what sort of monkeys feel unwell? Gorillas. Hi. What the name for monkeys who share an Gorillas. Prime mates. Prime mates. Very good uh, monkey jokes there. I appreciate that one of them was literally a, a Kong one. That was yeah. good. B B B B B B B B B Jack B B B B B B B B B King Kong B B B B B B B Blaze it. Thank you very much, Stephen Skodos, for blazing it there. Uh, thank you, Lord Brotovich and Stephen, for BBB blazing it. Okay, I think we do just go and give him a hand. Don't think you can set fire to any of this long... Oh, you can. Okay, well, I know that now. That will be good for future, because it does kind of get in the way a little bit. Although now I've got to wait for it to burn. But Or I can try and be clever. There we go. Checkpoint.
Now, what some of you might not know about this game... Oh, I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it till it happens. Hurry up, Jack. They're getting away. We're gonna lose them. I hear roaring. Spiders. We saw some earlier with Hayes. We managed to bait him with a couple hunks of meat. Or I can just scare him with my fire, I think. Hunks of meat. Oh. Hide. Oh, can I can I Red sneak through the head. long grass? Over there, a shelter. Wait, surely I can just. Ha ha! Man once again triumphs over nature. You really can just... Screenwriter and dinosaur killer. Yeah, that's me. You really can just whack that thing in any direction, can't you? I like it. Oh, hello. We need to find two levers. <laughs> that's good. Two levers. Okay. Oh, there's one in there. I need some fire. We need two levers. Well, I don't know about levers, but I can see a lever. <laughs> uh. Not left one up here, have we, somewhere? No. Game design tells me the other one's got to be over here somewhere. Surely. Oh, uh, we got... It's the spider tunnel. Um, no, but it's how we can get some fire. Where's the other lever? Was I missing it? Is it, is it just obviously in here? No. Um. Must be up here. Yeah, I know. It's not back here, is it? There's no way it's all the way back here. Can't be. Oh, it's right there. Uh, if I... Hmm. How am I going to bait the spiders? If I throw a flaming spear on the floor, will that be enough to scare the spiders away? Or Yes, it will. Wow, so it was all the way back there. How about that? It's a lot of gasping, does old uh, everything all right, Jack? Adrian Brody. Oh, nice work, Jack. This isn't going to work. It's too easy to find levers in the UK. Another funny joke from me, says Boring Loner. Hey, that's a good one. I like that. It's a Brexit joke. Which shouldn't still be topical, but it is because of how how long and drawn out it's been. Um... Can I... 
Can I give you the gun, Carl? Or can I make you take this one? Carl, use use a gun. Can I swap swap with him? Will he take the gun? No. Just want to be. <laughs> he picks it up. I like that. Uh, just trying to be sensible, you know. Why don't Why don't you take the the handgun with you? Hello. Where go to? Where go to now? I see the grubs. Do we need the? Throw me the thing. Do I need one of these from in here and then go a different direction? Where are we? Oh, I didn't see this. Okay. So the uh, the spears will sort of sometimes kind of snag enemies, or certainly will snag the um, these ones, here, the millipedes. Like it seems. Me, I, know what I'm doing. I think that's what happens. Anyway, these seem to sometimes get like pinned to the ground, which is kind of cool. Oh! Oh. oh god, they're just jumping out at me when I'm right up in on their hole already, as it were. Yeah, see, he was definitely pinned to the wall there. Just be careful now. Is this one going to come out of here? Yes, it is. Yes, he's he's all caught up there. Pinned to the wall. I like it. It's cool. bullet left. Come on. Oh. Okay. Jack. Denim. Hello. fish are they little have they got limbs oh uh he's got a tommy gun over there by the looks of it can he not use that can i can i throw them throw these guys a a tasty lizard uh what have they gone How do you lose two dinosaurs? Yeah, this is empty. Uh, why don't I just swim back this way and get him to chuck it across the cliff? Will he do that? Thompson gun. Thomas Thomas gun. Hayes. Throw it. I'm pressing I'm pressing chuck it. The chuck it button. Hayes. Oh no, I've got to climb all the way up there. I've got to get past the dinosaurs. In order to get the uh, Thomas Gunson. Hello there. I am Tommy Gunn. Anyone in chat go to school with Tommy Gunn? Nice, nice boy. Okay, I can stay in these narrow bits. 
these dinosaur proof areas. Oh, that one's got a spear in it still. I'd love to come and get the Tommy gun. Oh, ooh, hello. I'd love to. Just trying to make my way there, that's all. Don't rush me. Okay, I'm legging it. Throw it. Oh, it jumped across. No need to swear about it. Darn bushes is what we say in this house. Come back. <laughs> there it is. I knew he was around here somewhere. Nice. I killed a dinosaur. I need this for something, presumably. Where is everyone? There they are. Where's Miss Darrow? The Skull Islanders took her. They offered her up as a sacrifice. Who to? You're not gonna believe this. Some kind of gorilla. He's enormous. Must be at least 25 feet tall. Come on, we have to find Anne. She better be alright for your sake. But there's the actual hands of Adrian Brody. They reprised their role. We can go now. I like that this game is just linear as hell. I miss this. I'm so intimidated by the thought of playing God of War Ragnarok, you know? I've just heard so much from other people saying like, you know, it's it's a, an amazing game, but what is that? That's not Kong. I mean, I know what that is, but it's a new monster. But man, I would pay good money to just have loads of games like this but with a modern budget are you there jimmy okay denim sounds like we're about to find your 25 foot gorilla now that wasn't calm that was something else okay we'll take a quick break i need to think this through that wasn't kong that was something else uh oh. Let's go and stay alert. I have no idea what attacked them, but I have a feeling it isn't far away. Two magazines on backup. Okay. I'm sure there was Two a way. On backup. Two magazines on backup. I'm sure it used to be that if you did that, if you held your gun up and pressed the how much ammo do I have, he would pull the magazine off and look at it, and then it would actually show you on, on the HUD. A little bit of HUD would briefly come up and say, you've got like nine bullets Two left, but on apparently not. Anyway, I don't mind, but that's different to how. Maybe it's, um, I obviously had a PAL version of the game. This is a... Um, this is an NTSC copy. Maybe there's a slight difference in the versions. I don't know. Uh-oh. Retreat! Retreat! 
It's a tarantulas rex. Open the flipping door. I kill that, will he go and eat it? Yes, kill the bats. You can't you can't fight him, which is why they're telling you to uh, distract him instead. I'm trying, but where are the bats? I'm all out of bats. I like how it makes it does like the visual effect on the screen when he. Oh, I can't go through there yet. Oh, I was going for a bow and I was trying to grab a bow. <laughs> Walked right into his mouth. Uh, I, did you like there how I tried to run through the gate while those two were still opening it? I thought that was a nice, a nice touch. Right, I'm going to wait till he comes through before I kill the bats. Because it's a waste of time, otherwise. There we go, he's eating a delicious bat dinner. Yummy. Like it. Doors open. Okay. What next? He's coming back, Jack. Get over here and hide. Jack, over here. I'm here. It's all right. What's the speed run on this game? No idea actually how fast you can do this game. So we're just... We're just stuck in here now. We can't... We can't go anywhere. We can't kill him. We're going to die. But then... Oh God, there he is.
lever. Can't get over that gap there. Or is there a, is there already a lever on both? No. Only one more to find. Yeah. Um No, I can't get over there. I need to backtrack and find a lever. I'm looking. Can I not just take one of these? Probably not. That would be nice. No. Um. Oh no. I've walked through here. I don't know if I can get back out. Sort of drops down a... Can I walk around? Yeah, I can. It can't be all the way over here, this, this lever that I need. Of shouting in this game. Everyone yells at everyone else. Where is this other lever? We've got two wooden pillars there. What? Where is it? Pretty sure you walk past it twice. The texture is similar to the background, says Boring Loner. Oh, really? Only one more to find. Uh. I'd have thought it would be in this little area, to be honest, if it was going to be anywhere, rather than like out, back out there, but I suppose it could be. Right next to the brownish green thing. Uh, is it in this, is it in this area? If you, if anyone spotted it, tell me, is it, is it beyond this, this doorway in somewhere in this area? Or not. Um, and if not, where? It's near a little archway, I think, back in the last area. All oh, right. Oh, if you mean this thing, it's not. It's not this. That's uh. But maybe you don't mean that. Uh. Then there's these two, but I can't take these, which is stupid. It's all the same thing. Uh, that's the thing you meant, Boring Loner. Okay. Okay, well, the fact that they're yelling that makes me think it must be somewhere around here. But where? One more left to find. Is it like on the floor here? Can it be, can they be on the floor? I'm like kind of looking for a pillar really. No, everything's not all right. I don't know where the flipping pillar, the lever is. Which seems a bit silly. Um, it's not there. That's a load of spears. If this were a modern game, there would be 17 indicators on screen. And somehow, uh, I prefer this exploration style of gameplay to force feeding 
and railroad star gameplay. Yeah, I mean, it, it is nice to at least not be railroaded, but... Um, I am now... There it is. It's, just, it, it's, a, it's mi more a case of me trying to second-guess game design and say, through this doorway, it's going to be around here, or it, w it wouldn't possibly be back there, where that's where I've come out, and then I've walked up here and found a doorway and then have to go back again. So that's me trying to, like, second-guess the design. So, yeah, it's nice not to be, you know, handheld. So this is where we were coming to. You could have jumped. You could have jumped across there. Oh my God. Easy. It completely tore Lumpy apart. Oh! Right, Not Lumpy. Don't wait for us. We'll go around. Oh, you're not telling me you couldn't just reach over there. You could stand on that bit. I could stand on that bit. I could hold on to that. I could easily, easily get you. You idiot. Okay, it's reloaded. Oh yeah, so the T-Rex is going after Anne. So this earlier I said uh, something about this game that you might not know. Um, I think I think we're soon to discover it in this in this section. <sighs> Three magazines on backup. Bat. Oh, there. Oh, there's a little dinosaur. No. got away. The T-Rex started fighting the Kong. Oh my God. Look at her go. She's fighting dinosaurs with a spear. She's, she's got no shoes on. And she's just... She's a boss. Give me a bone. Where's the bone pile? I'm just pressing bone button. Are you okay? Cover me. I'm wounded. You're fine. Hang on, Ed. Over here. Okay. Is she moving? I'm coming to get you. Oh my God! It's about four of them. Tool for the job, this one actually. I shouldn't have dropped the Tommy gun. Around twenty bullets on back. Two bullets on back. Oh, there it goes. 
Oh, where's the shotgun? There it is. Oh my god, there's a flipping lot of them. Oh, I've run out of shotgun ammo now. Oh no, it's another queen one. Oh, of course. Of course that's what happens. Oh. Oh, the monkey. He's going to save her. So, something you might not know about this game is that you can play as King Kong himself. The monkey. It's pretty cool that you get to play as Kong. I love that. I'm sure there's a way to actually sort of go a little bit faster, but... We'll learn it. It's going to teach us. No. And I love that you can just absolutely chop through, like, enemies that cause you issues when you're playing as Jack. You know, you get like the big green dinosaurs and stuff. Not the T-Rex ones, but um, I mean, you do get those, but I mean, they're, they're not easy to fight. But um, yeah, the... Uh, the big sort of non-boss ones that Jack sometimes fights are relatively easy to deal with in... Uh, in this mode. I've got these cinematic camera angles as well. No! Oh! She's liked it. Oh yeah, yeah, so you press square and he'll he'll do a dodge attack. Get in a fury. Oh, a few issues. Clearly there's some sort of visual effect that's supposed to happen when I'm in a fury that uh, the emulator doesn't really like very much. Oh man, look, he looks kind of cool. He goes all quicksilvery. Come on, boyo. Can I just go into a rage whenever I want? Yes, apparently I can. If I want the screen to look weird, I can do that whenever I like. Finish him off. Pull his wing off. Yes, Kong.
Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> She's in trouble now. I easily caught up with her there, but the game didn't want me to grab her yet. On the wall, Kong. Come on. Oops. Got ya. He doesn't like the screaming. Remember that weird bit in the film where uh, she starts like dancing and juggling to entertain him and he sort of laughs weird. I don't, don't really like that bit. Imagine having the idea for King Kong when the original film was made in what? The 30s? Was it first made? 40s? It's a very old film. Imagine having the gall to say we're going to make a film where there is a gigantic gorilla and at the end it's going to climb up the Empire State Building and planes are going to come and shoot it. Like, in the days before CG, in the days before almost any kind of animation as we know it today, uh, in a quote-unquote live-action style. I mean, they, obviously, they had a lot of... They had hand-drawn stuff, but... You know, that had to be done stop-motion in order to make it look semi-photorealistic. Who on Earth said, what we're going to do is we're going to make this film with Giant Monk. Okay, so I don't think those boxes can go off the edge. I tried it there, just for fun. 1933, the original King Kong says Forgotten Media. Yeah, like, hats off to whoever decided... Christ. Yeah, whoever said, we're going to do that, and, you know, actually pulling it off reasonably well. The only other option would have been to do what they did with some of the other monster movies, where they just, like, took footage of lizards and, like, you know, attached sort of sails on their backs and horns on their heads, maybe. And then... Oh! I fell. I fell. Uh, and then just sort of superimposed them onto cityscapes or had them walking around little model cities. Oh, I didn't see all those guys dangling. Jesus! <laughs> trillion of them. Okay, hang on. There's like a load of bats hanging upside down. Justin Wie uh, Wiedemann says, or Weidman says, I love those old school special effects with forced perspective and stuff. I just built an Ames room for my son. One of those rooms where you look really tall in one corner and really short in the other. Oh, nice. Wow, you built one for your son. That's really cool. Yeah, I love old style special effects. I love stop motion. I especially love stop motion when it is used in a live action style film so as much as i love you know stop motion like claymation you know i'm i'm a big wallace and gromit fan you know i like i like my aardman and all that kind of stuff as much as i love all that uh what i really like is like ray harryhausen and um i think i talked before about a month ago or more about the fact that i watched the um first couple of episodes of the uh uh, what's it called? Um, Industrial Light and Magic documentary on... Uh, am I... Can I walk under here? Is that... Is that okay? Am I allowed to do that? Uh, yeah, I watched the first two or three episodes some time ago, and then... God. Yeah. 
It was beauty killed the beast. Maybe I'm not supposed but to go that army, way guns, at all. Rockets and bombs didn't help. <laughs> yeah, the planes. The planes killed the beasts. It wasn't the airplanes. It was the airplanes killed the beast. Um. Yeah, like Ray Harryhausen and stuff. And yeah, I've been watching. The, that's that's what I was saying. The uh, oh, there we go. That's what I need. Been watching the the Light and Magic documentary, and I've uh, finally started watching it again. I got really distracted by my house move and stuff, but I uh, I watched episode four or something where they were doing the torn torn in Star Wars and you know showing all that stuff. It's just magical. It really like I can completely understand where George Lucas got the name from. It's a bit of a mouthful. Industrial light and magic, and yeah, all right, it does technically everything that it says on the tin, but magic, I think, is the, the, the key word there. I mean, it, it's just, it's enchanting, you know, some of the work that those people do. I feel maybe if um, I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd still be in some kind of media, oh, come on. I'd still be in some kind of media editing or effects kind of role, or I'd like to be, you know. There's a flipping million of these bats. And you shoot one of them, and then all the others just fly around a bit. Just to wind you up, but then don't even come and get you. Oh, is that the sound of it being empty, or, or nearly empty? Oh, nice, it makes a tiny little sound. When it's empty, that's cool. Jesus Christ! Oh, the flipping jump scares. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> oh, guns empty. There we go. Right, that's almost all of them, if not all of them. So now I can very carefully. Make my way downtown. Wow, okay, that's it. Oh, whoops, that's an interesting section. Oh no. I'm dry. Oh god. Just use my last bullet. I can whack him, right? Whack him good. Oh no, I'm dry. I was gonna say the screen's rumbling a bit. Wow, look at this. Can I remind you, this is a video game from, like, the mid-noughties. I don't mean graphically. I'm not saying, look at these graphics, because they're just, they're, they're just quite good. They're not, like, amazing. They're, they're certainly not worse than average. But the actual presentation here, the direction, is a little bit cutting edge. A little bit. It wasn't the first game to be, you know, like this. Um, PS2 had plenty. Um, but it's got something, you know, it really does have something a bit special. Music bangs, yeah, it does. I thought this was from the noughties, says Dead Vinny. Didn't I just say that? Mid-2000s. Mid 
didn't say 90s, did I? 2005 video game people. It says Forgotten Media. Yeah, impressive. And hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some of it down to your boy, my boy, Michel Ancel, because actually Beyond Good and Evil uh, One is at times pretty cinematic. It has some real moments to it. Some nice direction. Bits where you know they set you up for certain shots like that, where you you know you see things. And, Camera angle changes dramatically. Plane to just fly over somewhere, I think. But. Yeah. There is a special feature on the 1933 King Kong DVD of Peter Jackson trying to recreate the spider pit scene using technique available at the time. Wow. It is probably on YouTube somewhere. Oh, really? That's cool. I'm slightly concerned now that there's going to be a bit where I have to walk down and not get trampled on by dinosaurs. And hopefully there will be big obvious footprints that they sort of stay walking in every time. Every time the next one comes, hopefully it'll step in the same footprints. Oh, okay. Some of it, some of these uh, textures, like I thought that was just a wall going upwards, but no, it's actually a ramp. It can be a bit difficult to navigate here. It's all very green and grey. Hello, critters? What's the matter with you? Where have you gone? What are you doing? Okay. Splosh. Oh, hello. Let me out. I can't attack when I'm in the water. It's too deep. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. Oh. All right, this should, this should eat that for, for a minute. It's got a grub on it. There we go. God. It really tries to kill you, this game. Five magazines on backup. Just shot it point blank in the face. Come on. Does it have a face? Spear. And the music is great. like something out of like a an epic a cinematic you know like some sort of or you know some sort of roman epic movie or like from what's that film called kingdom of heaven kind of reminds me of that oh A lot of that kind of stuff. It's the time, ten past seven. I best, uh, I best wrap it up. Try and get to the end of this level. I think we'll be there soon. Actually, I think it's. ammo. Well, I'm not out of ammo, but I need to reload. Just meleeing everything. Right, reload your flipping gun. I should probably be using the, the bait tactic more to my advantage. 
and the fact that each creature will try and eat fallen enemies as well. Like this one is running over there to eat the bat. You know, we've got to distract the enemies more because the combat in this is kind of tricky at times. Come on, get me a grub. I like that it stabs the grub exactly yeah. where you stab it as well. What do you think of the casting of Millie Gibson as the next Doctor Who companion? Ah, yeah. That's right, uh, Rob DW. Thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, since uh, since I streamed, we've got a new Doctor Who companion. Well, I know very little about her. I used to be a an avid Coronation Street fan. I used to watch it without fail. <laughs> Oh, will the spiders go down there for that? Oh yeah, they will. And so, oh no, it won't. I was going to say, and so will that that fella, but he didn't. But that's okay. Uh, I used to watch Coronation Street a lot. For, uh, for those who don't know, let's have some context. Doctor Who. I'm sure you all know what Doctor Who is, even if you're not from the UK. Uh, but the new companion has been announced at, um, on the Children in Need, um, like charity kind of. Dry. Uh, charity TV event that we have every year. Um, and uh, it's a... Uh, yes. It's someone who I think is principally known for having starred in um, Coronation Street, which is a... Uh, saving which is a soap opera set in the north of England. There we go. Uh, and I used to used to watch Corrie uh, a lot. Like my family, my, I grew up watching it because my family watched it. My mum was a, a big fan and it would just be on in the living room in the evenings. Um, and then I sort of, when I went to uni, I kind of picked it up then because I'm from the north of England and although I, I was still in the north of England, I was actually further north than where I lived, but I'm from what I associate with the north, which is kind of northwest, kind of the Manchester region and, and Yorkshire and so on, where I'm from. Um, and it was just a little bit of like familiarity, even though I was up in uh, kind of the northeast, basically. So I, I used to watch it a lot and then eventually I... Uh, missed a whole bunch of episodes for like a couple of weeks in a row. It might be when my exam, my final exams were or something. And I don't like watching things when I'm not up to date. And I eventually fall, fell too far behind that I couldn't watch it on catch up. Um, and now I've never watched it since, uh, which is a shame because I watched it for years and years and years and then I stopped. That's all completely irrelevant information. No one wanted to know how much I have watched Coronation Street, but the question was, what do I think of, uh, what's her name again? Um, I've forgotten her name already. Uh, uh, Millie Gibson. What do I think of Millie Gibson? She's in Coronation Street, but she joined it many years after I ever started watching it. So I don't know what she's like, but I know that that's a good show. Uh, and that they, historically they've, they've usually cast very talented people. So I imagine she's very good. Russell T Davies is very good at picking companions and, and, and casting in general. So uh, I think it's probably a good decision. Uh, I don't know enough about her to have a much more of an opinion than that, but hey, I wish her the very best and I will be watching it. I think her name is, I don't know if I really like the name or really don't like it at the moment. Ruby, I would have been fine with. People were already speculating that she was gonna be called Ruby because of the diamond, uh, red diamond like emoji that Doctor Who official had posted on Twitter, but um, she's called Ruby Sunday. And you just know that that's gonna be like, they're gonna sort of play on that all the time. You know, like Amy Pond, there was a lot of Pond stuff used to, like Pond jokes and puns and things used to happen, which is, you know, fine, I suppose. But yeah, uh, that kind of stuff. So there'll be, people will be saying, you know, a month of Sundays or, uh, you know, she'll she'll like escape narrowly escape being set on fire, and someone will say the doctor will say you were almost a Sunday roast or whatever. Like it, you know. So I think that's what why I'm unsure about it because I'm just preempting all of that kind of cheese. But then I really liked all the cheese when RTD did the original show run show, showrunners run. So uh, 
that, that's all right. I can, I can take it. Um, so there we go. Those are some thoughts. Uh, so yeah, it's gladiator-esque. That's sort of what I meant, Forgotten Media. Yeah, the, the music is, is a bit like Gladiator. Um, love that Peter gives the international audience context. Much appreciated. I do my best. I do my very best. Um, she's amazing. One of the best Corey had, says Jordan05. Wow, okay. Well, that's, that's a good uh, review there from you. Um, fantastic. So, I, I'm going to put that aside for now, uh, but we'll be playing some more next week. Um, how are we doing in terms of dates? So, next week is the 28th of November, and then we enter December. So, on the 5th, that'll be my first stream of the month. On the 12th, that'll be my second stream of the month. The 19th will be my third stream of the month, and then I will probably not be around for the one after that, which would be 26th. That's Boxing Day. I will not be around. So I will have three streams in December, and I think I know what I'm going to do for each of them. Uh, one of them is an art stream, so that'll be on the 12th. Uh, one of them will be our annual watch-along of classic children's British TV. Sort of children's families is really the best way to put it. It's not too, it's never too kiddie, I don't think. But you know, a la The Box of Delights slash The Chronicles of Narnia. I know what we're watching this year. I'm very excited about it. It's just the right level of strange, wonky, well-spoken, uh, upper-class child uh, protagonist thing that you now hope hopefully are expecting. Um, and the one other thing that I could do to fill that um, for the for the third stream of December. Is something I have talked about on um, the last last week's uh, podcast. Um, briefly, I touched on it, so it's, it wouldn't be a spoiler for me to say. I am reasonably sure. I just need to sort of time it properly. I know that it's physically possible, but I am reasonably sure that I will be doing a long ass stream. Um, I might do it on a Friday. I might swap the days and come in on a Friday when I'm normally at home and just spend the whole day at the office streaming uh, to try to complete Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage without gliding. Um, and when I say complete, I mean get to the final boss uh, and fight the final boss. Now, the final phase of the final boss does actually involve a flying power-up, so it's going to be a bit like when I did No Flame uh, Spyro 1, which was you save it for the final boss. You, you don't use it all the way through, and then in the final boss, that's your only time that you flame. So again, it will be no gliding, no flying, all the way through Spyro 2. Um, get every talisman, uh, finish every level, reach the exit of every single level, uh, and uh, then fight the final boss, Ripto himself, at which point I'm allowed to fly. Otherwise, you can't do it. You can't do the final phase without flying because the floor becomes lava and it's impossible. So, um, Technically, flying isn't gliding, says Jax. Well, I thought that, but then I also wanted to limit... I, I wanted to mean that... I, I wanted to make it so that I can't use flying power-ups anywhere else before that in, in the game, in the lead-up to that. Because I did think, you know, there are uh, several levels that have flight power-ups, and I was like, nah, that's, that's cheating. I might do a little sneaky swimming in the air glitch in one area, just for fun. I don't need to do it, but um, just to... Just, just for funsies. Um, but there you go. So that is probably what is going to happen. The f it might be the fifth. The first stream of December might be my Spyro one. Um, it might not be the fifth if I do it on the Friday. But yeah, my the first week of December might be a Spyro stream from me. Then the second uh, week of December, so the twelfth will be a uh, Christmassy art stream, and then maybe we'll save the watch along for as close to Christmas as we can get it, uh, which would be on Monday the 19th. So uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm very excited. Um, are you allowed to jump, says Pup George. Yes, you are allowed to jump. It would be impossible without jumping. And indeed, it has to be Spyro 2 on PS1, not in the Reignited trilogy, because we will be using an exploit 
the double jump. Oh, we can't say that on this channel. We've got to do two thirds of a triple jump. It's a special glitchy jump that you can do in Spyro 2. And it means I'll be having to like jump out of bounds and do like weird bits of jumping on scenery that I shouldn't be able to get on. And I think it'll be interesting. So, um, yeah, I'll have to see if I can last all the way through what might be a sort of six hour live stream without saying two thirds of a triple jump. You know the wrong the wrong version of that um, all the way through. So I might come up with some kind of forfeit where every time I say two thirds of a triple jump, um, I have to you know I don't know do some kind of forfeit. And then also every time I accidentally glide because it does happen. So I won't use any gliding to do any getting across obstacles or do any platforming. I won't. I will not utilize gliding at any point in the run. But Sometimes Spyro just jump, goes into a gliding animation when you're like falling or if you're trying to like do some special triple jumping and you're, you're trying to do a corrective jump when you land just to like get get yourself and stop your momentum. If you press it slightly too soon as you're, as you're falling then he'll do a you know a 20 centimeter glide and so there will there will be bits of gliding animation but nothing that actually allows me to progress so I'm going to say that now you know. Uh, I at least tried my best with the no flame run to actually not even press the circle button, which is easier to do. The problem is, is that with the with the flame run, you just tell yourself, just don't press circle, you'll be fine, you'll, you won't flame at all. Uh, whereas with the gliding one, you have to be pressing X all the time to do the jumps and the doppel springs, springs, springens. Uh, so um, that's how you end up uh, accidentally gliding. So that might happen. Anyway, I've, I've talked a load of bollocks there for a while. I'm, I need to finish the stream now. But thank you very much to Quick Panic, who was in there with a Quick Panic subscription at the end, who says gliding isn't flying, it's falling with style. That's true. We will do a bit of that. Uh, thank you for 19 months subscribed. And uh, so there you go. That is uh, a look ahead to what I'm going to be doing basically for the rest of the year on stream. We've got King Kong next week. Week after might be the Spyro stream. Uh, week after that might be the art stream, and the week after that might be the watch along of the uh, the janky 1980s uh, family drama. Uh, I reserve the right to swap around any of those December ones in any order. I might do the art one first, or I don't know, but that's what's happening. Uh, so, can't wait for it. It's going to be good. Um, that's it. Uh, if you're if you were thinking of um, joining Hive. Follow me on Hive at that Peter Austin. It's just like Twitter, but uh, there's no desktop version at the moment. It's just a mobile app, but I think they're going to add one soon. Um, so you can follow me over there. But I'm going to be posting on Twitter as normal. Don't worry about it. I'm not going anywhere. Just going to be using both in exactly the same way. So if you can't make it over to Hive or don't want to, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. You're not going to miss a single thing. Um, don't Please don't unfollow me on Twitter is what I'm saying. Lovely. Right. That's it. I need to stop now. I need to go home. Uh, thanks, everyone. And enjoy the rest of your Mondays. Cool. All right, then. Bye.